Hey YouTube, what is good? I am not Ricky T and that was a bad impersonation, but I am back with another video because of coronavirus. Um, so I'm gonna do a get to know you on my channel. Um, and I'm just looking up these random questions on, oh, my shirt is messed up. Something called YouTube Society. So you guys will get to know me. Some of these questions are very personal, so like I'm not gonna answer them, but other questions, you know, might lead to a good story, so. Here we go. I saw a question I just like. Okay, where did you grow up? So I was born in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I have family in Columbia, South Carolina, and Atlanta, but I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, go Panthers, go Bobcats, who are now the Hornets. Um, I don't even watch basketball like that. But yeah, yeah. Where do you currently live? I currently live in Charlotte, North Carolina, um, part-time, and then Washington, D.C., part-time. I go to college there. So yeah, look, y'all, isn't it cuter with, like, off the shoulders? I think so too. All right, guys. This is this is how we're gonna do the rest of the video because I think it's cute. Um, who is your first best friend? Um, so in Charleston, the woman who delivered me, her daughter, um, we became close friends because my mom and her were close after um, having her mom as uh, my mom's OBGYN, so Jada or, and then my mom was close to someone else, Pam, and her daughter. I'm friends with her, Lauren McLeod. Those are my two first best friends. Dogs or cats, I'm gonna say dogs, cats are real snippy. I don't like all that. They got a bad attitude. I'm not gonna answer that. What's your spirit animal and why? I'm at a crossroad between a dragon and a tiger because I'm really fierce, although I'm really small. Um, I'm feisty, but um, I get the job done. Anything I go after, I go after passionately, so that's why I'm gonna say either a dragon or a tiger. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? I actually have my perfume back there. Do I need to grab it? I think I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. It's my favorite perfume of all time. It's Princess by Vera Wang. Hold on. Cause the bottle is so cute. The bottle is, is really, oh okay. The bottle is really very cute. I've used a lot, but it's been like a very long time. But this is it. The scent is Princess by Vera Wang. Also, I need to get my nails done, so please don't look at those things. Oh, what are your life goals? Okay, so right now I'm a journalism major in college, political science minor. So I wanna start off being like a political commentator, but also a writer. Um, I have two books right now, and I think it would be really cool to like become like this famous big time author who um, goes around on book tours and stuff like that. But at the same time, like I love journalism and politics and hardcore facts. So I would love to have my own television news network. That's one of my major goals in life. What sports do you play or have played? I run track. I love to run. That's my favorite thing to do. Right now I do 400 hurdles. Yeah. Have you read any books to change your life? Um, I'm gonna grab the book because I'm here, so why not? Okay. This book, Asada, um, it's the autobiography of Asada Shakur. It really did change my life. It's a very powerful book. Um, it's an easy read, and I recommend it to anyone interested in political science. Sorry I'm moving around too much. I don't want y'all to think I'm naked because my top is so low, but yeah. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I really like Masai Russell. I like Ashley Ferguson. Um, I like Slim Roche. Yeah, I like her a lot. She's really pretty and her hair is nice. I like watching natural hair videos. I think the other one I like is Deeper Than Hair. I watch a lot of hair videos when I get bored. Um, do you speak any languages and how well? So I studied French ever since middle school. Probably should have been studying harder because your girl only knows a little bit, but I, it's a hard language compared to English, so I don't, I don't want to be judged. But I do speak a little bit of French. I can speak like a couple of words in Spanish, but mainly French. Also, I would love to work for Reporters Without Borders in Paris, France. That's one of my big time goals as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush up on my French. Are you single or taken? I'm single. Um, 
wow, we want to get real into your day life. What is your go-to hairstyle? A slick back when it's not in a weave. When it's in a weave, I put some flexi rod rollers in. We go all today. What's your go-to fast food order? I love Chick-fil-A. I used to work there. I get the number one fries and a sweet tea, and then I put Polynesian sauce on my sandwich, and I put Polynesian on the fries. Polynesian on the fries. It's really, really good. You need to try it. Um, but don't be mean to a Chick-fil-A worker because they make us work hard for no reason. Y'all be so rude. Do you use PC or Mac? Clearly Mac. Um, do you have any bad habits? I used to have a really bad habit of biting my nails, but I stopped. So proud of myself for that. Tell us one thing you wouldn't know about you. Uh, under my bed, I have a coin collection. I know, it's pretty weird. It's only quarters, um, and it's quarters from like every state in America. My grandma bought it for me. So like, I've been searching for the quarters for every state ever since. I kind of got off track, but I'm trying to get back. And yeah. Favorite Netflix show? Um, I watched this one called Baku. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's like considered almost anime, but not really. And it's like a different version of Avatar Last Airbender. I like that one. The craziest thing you've done. The craziest thing I've done. I can't tell you guys that. I almost did, but I'm sorry, I can't. I gotta keep some things to myself. What's your favorite genre of film and why? I like historical history type movies and then I like historical fiction. Like I really like what ifs. I like watching movies about like history and like Anne Frank. I'm really obsessed with um, that. I'm also obsessed with like the Mid-Atlantic slave trade. So yeah. I don't know if I said Mid Atlantic right. Please don't judge me if I didn't. I'm a little sleepy, I'm a little woozy because we've been inside at all because of this corona, so coffee order i don't have one but if i go to starbucks i get a vanilla bean vanilla bean frappuccino used to be a cake bop i don't get that anymore i get a cinnamon toasted bagel with cream cheese favorite thing to order on uber eats chick-fil-a i love chick-fil-a and chipotle have you moved from home where to and how's the experience yes i moved from home to washington dc for college i got put in a triple as you can see i don't know if you can see but this is a king size bed baby girl um i'm used to having my own room my own space um so being in a triple was extremely interesting but i'm thankful for the experience because one of my roommates is like my best friend i tell her everything um when we go back to college like i'm so excited to like be with her and talk to her again because like she encouraged me she uplifted me um and I, I just love her so much. So shout out to Ellie if you're watching this. Um, have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn? Failed it a lot. I tried to have a podcast. No one really listened. Um, I can put it on my resume though. Um, I also tried long jump, triple jump. And I wasn't really successful at it, I don't think. But I'm glad I tried it. Uh, what did I learn? I also tried hurdles. And like now I'm doing it even more so I learned like if you really love something if you put your all into it if you continue doing it like there's nowhere you can't go with it um just be a student of your craft and your time will come period that's not everything what are your pet peeves I don't really have pet peeves I I really like a lot of people I like talking like talking to a lot of people but if I'm annoyed with you if like one thing about you like really irks me like I can't like if I don't like someone I don't like them I'm not giving them another chance so yeah but I can't like really say one reason why or why not because I don't have them weird quirks I snort I snort when I laugh really really bad especially when I'm stopped up like today but I don't have coronavirus I don't have coronavirus I got allergies and I was just outside taking selfies so do you have any siblings siblings yes I have one sibling I have a younger brother his name is Trey he does YouTube too his YouTube is Trey Zoom so go check him out um personality type what is it um I took a little personality test but I lost my screenshot but I can describe my personality I think I'm really quirky um i like researching a lot i don't know this isn't really describing my personality i like helping i like serving other people um i like talking a lot i'm very outgoing um very outspoken especially in situations that irk me because once i'm irked i really it's hard to get me unearthed so yeah what social media are you addicted to right now it's been twitter i've been tweeting like every other day i know my followers are like hey please please stop but i mean i just had something to say so and i like retweeting other people's messages and stuff who's your role model i would say my mom 
It's my mom. I just look up to her in a lot. I think she's very strong and she's gotten through a lot. Um, oh, I also say David Oliver. He's my track coach now. And I really do just admire him. I admire, I admire like every single one of my coaches, Coach AJ, Coach Hunter. Like they've all like gotten through a lot in life and gotten to a point in life that I hope to be one day. So I look up to them. What was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? Um, in high school, my favorite subject was history. I like reading, I like writing. Um, so I also like English, but I did not like math. Science was like okay, depending on the teacher, but math, okay. No, and I just found out they're trying to have me take principles of econ, and I'm a, I'm a journalism major. Okay, no, I don't know why they, they thought. Uh, favorite memory from childhood. This is hard, like I think you have so many good memories. But I used to go to this summer camp at my church. Um, it was called YOU. We always wear these green uniforms, um, these polo green shirts and these khaki pants. You had to wear them every day or khaki shorts or khaki skirt or skirt. Um, and like, it was really, really strict. And we did homework and schoolwork all day. Um, you would go for like whatever grade you were going to be in. So like, let's say I was a fifth grader rising sixth grader over the summer. I'd be a sixth grader over the summer. We would like learn everything in advance. Um, it was predominantly black. And everyone hated it, except for like me and my little friend group. It was like five of us. Um, and we would go every summer and it would just be so fun. Like I have so many memories from them. We would go swimming every week. We had snack time, we had pool time. like. It was lit for me. And I, I don't even understand why I like continuously did the work because literally no one was forcing you to, but um, I did it and it like put me ahead of the game. Like I'm thankful my mom put me in it because I got some of my lifelong friends from it. So yeah, how would you def describe your um, fashion sense? Okay, shout out to my brand, Mind Over Matter. Uh, you can find us at mindovermatter.cloth on Instagram. That's my t-shirt. You already know what I'm talking about. You already know what I'm saying, but um, my style i switch it up a lot sometimes i'm like very very cute very very like necklace rings earrings jewelry all of that other times i would say i can get like a bit tomboyish like sagging pants uh baggy clothes like i switch it up every day sometimes i like to be nerdy um with my glasses i have some huge glasses i'm not about to pull them out i was but no um let me see all right, these are the end of their questions. What's your favorite TV series? Y'all can get on me, but I like the Cosby show and I like a different world because they're so relatable. Like in my life right now, like I love it. I love watching it. I love, I love the like life lessons you learn from it. Um, I think they're like very realistic. Like shows now, like I do not like corny shows. So I don't like grownish. I don't like, um, what is it, college-ish? What is it called? I don't even know what it's called, but I don't I don't really like those shows. I think they're like a spin-off, a rip-off of a different world in the Cosby show, which I like my two favorites, so no. But yeah, this was you guys getting to know me. It was probably like very weird and like a little bit off because I was having trouble getting through my words because I haven't been talking much because I've been inside because Corona. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video and also leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos you want me to do. I'm excited. We're going to pump them out because of Corona, Corona, Corona. I'm gonna do a vlog like moving out of college because that also that's gonna hurt and I'm probably gonna be around 10 or more people that it really didn't think it out so whatever but yeah okay okay bye